ravages bodies and shortens lives. When Roger Craig saw the barriers, he tried the left, he tried the right, and if they didn't work, he went over them. And that's what the diabetic has to do, is uh, to face the world realistically and uh, go for it. Early in my life, I made a decision that I wasn't going to stop living because of diabetes. For nearly half of his life, 49-year-old Monty Montano has dealt with diabetes and its complications. The illness brought on kidney failure that led to a kidney transplant. And four years ago, it stole his eyesight. There's a sense of loss, and with that loss comes anger, despair, depression, uh, uh, many things that you go through as you, um, you know, uh, come to grips with it. But then you have to make the decision, are you going to stay there in the dark in a corner, or are you going to take that first very difficult step to get your life back in order. Three and five, is that right. correct? Yes, one, three, and five. Very good. The Sacramento Society for the Blind has been one helping hand as Monty did that. They're even That's teaching him Braille. Okay, G O G O O D. Good. Right. All right. About one quarter of the people served by the Society for the Blind lost their eyesight because of diabetes. It's not an end. This time it's a... Even 